everyone, Origami123 here, and today I'll be showing you how to fold dun -dun -dun -dun, an exploding envelope. You know, I've written in boom there because it's really cool. Uh, this is, if you're a beginner, this is actually a really great model. Uh, it only takes approximately five folds, um, but yeah, if you, you can even fold this from sticky notes or printer paper cut squared. Um, so if you're going to use printer paper cut squared, this is what you will be doing. So let's say, uh, aha, here we go. Take a piece of printer paper, all right, and then, uh, hold on. All right, so take two pieces of printer paper, align this edge with this edge. Well, you're going to draw this line. So, okay. And then you're going to valley fold on this line like this. Valley fold just means fold upside down. So, fold or fold backwards or mountain fold. Okay, crease extremely sharply, sh sharply, and uh, then you're gonna make a little tear on the top, like this, and have it in a little mountain shape, and then just rip. And that's a little origami trick I learned from a fellow YouTuber named Jeremy Schaefer Origami. He is actually, um, an origamist who inspired me to make this channel. So yeah, big shout out to him. He has over like, what, two million subs. So I'm pretty sure I don't need to give him a shout out. And then you're good to go. Okay, so if you wanna make this model, it's really simple. So today I'll be doing uh, just a normal six inch color, colored uh, square sheet of paper. And so first you want to just pyramid fold if you have sticky notes or a printer paper cut squared. Pyramid fold, fold in half. Really make precise folds. It doesn't matter if you crease sharply. Well, it does matter if you crease sharply on all edges and all folds, but it matters more when you make precise folds. So then Take this flap and fold it just underneath this line. So, just like that. So it goes a bit over your fold. Okay, like that. And from the back, it looks something like this. Okay. Now, if that isn't aligned correctly, it's okay. It's okay. All right. Just straighten it out. Okay, then fold this corner to where these two creases meet. Okay. Crease sharply, unfold, and fold this corner to where these two creases meet. So, it's basically just fold this corner to this edge, or to where these two edges meet. Alright, then in each part, um, side of the envelope you're going to have a little pocket okay so what you're going to do is take this one and fold it inside this pocket like this then just shove it all the way back and flatten okay and the same with this edge okay then fold this top point down just above these two i mean just under these two this v shape so like that so there's no so not exactly there or else you can see some access so just fold it down over okay then you're done now if you want to make it go like this all you do is hold this top edge make sure you're not holding the edges like that or that right in the middle 
like that. Make sure you're not holding any of these edges. And then hold this and hold it here and then pull with your right hand or left hand. Like that. So now I'll show you again. If you want to refold it, just fold up, down, left, right. Put this in the pocket and fold down. Okay, then then it do really fast. You can even oh that broke off the bottom, but it's okay. So you don't have to pull too fast. Then you can write boom or gotcha or pranked or surprised or ha ha ha. It's a really cool model. You can even show your uh, younger brothers and sisters, older brother and brothers and sisters. And once you make it out printer paper, it's going to be ginormous. So you, you can even send it like to a friend or something as a birthday card saying happy birthday or something. Saying pull, hold here, pull here. And you know, it's actually a really cool thing. I've actually done that once. It's really good. So, I uh, hope you like this. Sorry, it's ripped off the bottom. It just broke off. I'll use this one. Okay, so here... Are those models done? So, personally, this these are one of my favorite models anyways. So I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!